Good morning. My name is Shane Stanley and I am here in Rossmore Quay, uh, County Galway, on the shores of Loch Derg. And in this video, I'm hoping to outline what uh, inspired me in 2020 to learn a new skill and uh, start on a journey of landscape photography. At the start of the pandemic in 2020, countless companies around Ireland and around the world were either forced to close or have their staff work from home if they could. Now, I work in the construction sector as a carpenter for a small company not far from here. So working from home was just not an option. And I think for the first time in my adult life, I found myself having time that I wasn't used to. Uh, I really didn't know what to do with myself for seven weeks that I was out of work. Now, I'm a bit of a nature enthusiast. Uh, I love coming to locations like this behind me and woodlands and coastal areas, going for walks, hiking up hills and mountains whenever I get the chance. So, uh, <coughs> this break from work kind of presented me with an opportunity to actually just get out and enjoy nature for a while and uh, what I started doing uh, was just taking photographs. Cameras now and smartphones have just become insanely good over the last few years and I just started taking photographs every day I went out. Uh, post them up on Instagram. Uh, started following some influential photographers from Ireland and beyond and uh, really started enjoying the photography. Uh, there's two guys on the east coast of Ireland, uh, Kevin and Ronan. They're photographers and also uh, content creators on Spotify. They have their, their own podcast called uh, The Tri Podcast. And uh, <clears throat> what they did, I thought was really brilliant in April of 2020, was they set up a photography challenge. And uh, pretty much every day for God knows how many weeks, um, what they were doing was setting a theme for a photography competition and photographers from all around Ireland and maybe even beyond were kind of submitting photos daily based on this theme and I was doing the same thing and it was absolutely brilliant. The themes could have been from anything to music to abstract. The themes were fantastic um, and it was it was really given something people to focus on and for for me personally it was inspiring me to take more photographs but also to think outside the box in terms of what kind of photographs I wanted to take or what genre of photography I was interested in and uh, I really, really must say I enjoyed it so much for the few weeks that that was going on. So to Kevin and Ronan in particular, I really owe you a debt of gratitude. Because the time and effort that you guys put into that challenge back then was just incredible. And some of the friendships that I personally have developed through those challenges and becoming friends with so many other wonderful photographers. It's just been class. Uh, I am very, very much looking forward to getting out there with you guys hopefully in a couple months time when this lockdown 
finally ends and uh, we'll get touring around Ireland again and taking some serious photos. <laughs> so uh, yeah, again, Ronan, Kevin, thank you very much. Um, you've helped me fall in love with photography and I won't, I won't forget it in hurry. One other person I would sincerely like to thank is my dear friend Justina, or uh, she is known as on Instagram Justlenska. I'll put a link to a few of these accounts on the description below. You should definitely check them out or follow them if you're if you're not doing so already. Um, really amazing photographers, extremely talented people. So, what did I end up doing to try and learn my craft a bit more and hone my skills? I spent a lot of my evenings, spending countless hours watching YouTube, uh, YouTube accounts such as Mark Denny, Thomas Heaton, Nigel Danson, Kim Grant. Adam Gibbs, just sensational photographers from all around the world, America, the UK, you name it. Uh, and just learned so, so much. And this was in the latter half of 2020. I was doing a huge amount of research into what gear I was going to buy, what camera I wanted to buy, which shot I wanted. forward to spending a few quid <laughs> on some good gear and just developing my passion and developing my photography even more. Uh, so December came and on the 30th, the 30th of December I turned 40 years of age and before I even got a chance to buy my own camera, my wonderful family, my parents, my brother, my sister, niece and nephew um, all got together and uh, got me this bad boy, my brand spanking new Canon 2000D and first couple of months of 2021 now have just been amazing. Um, what this kind of passion and what kind of this kind of skill can do for even for your own mental health in times like these is just phenomenal. And waking up every morning, I'm just itching to get out, itching for good light, itching to find somewhere new or something to take a photo of. Okay, so I've uh, I've got back in the car now to record the rest of this. Um, the wind out there is just very strong and it's ruining the quality of the recording as you can hear. I don't have a mic just yet but I will be getting onto that soon. <laughs> so I'm also probably not going to get any shots here today because it's the conditions just are not good enough. Um, so what I'm going to leave you with is a collection of my favorite photographs from 2020, my first year in landscape photography. Um, all the shots you're gonna see are all just shot on my mobile phone. I haven't put up any uh, photos from my DSLR yet, so that might happen in the next video. Um, any questions, you can Ask me in the comments below, I will do my best to read them and get back to you. Uh, thank you for watching the video guys and I'll see you soon.